Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I'm Tony Green, the Psychic Medium, and here we go again. So everybody, thank you so much for joining us here today. Hopefully this is going to be a good show. I don't know why I laugh at that, because I'm thinking of past shows. <laughs> okay, so... I have a few announcements, then I'm going to do songs and names, and then I will go to callers and questions. My announcements are always the same, but for those of you who are new, um, please don't be scammed in social media or any place else for that matter. I will never reach out to anybody on social media or any other venue. Not always, N not ever. I don't know why I said always. Oh, because I'm reading Genevieve's comment. Hey, Genevieve. <laughs> I will never, ever reach out to anybody on social media or actually on any other venue. I won't reach out and say, hey, you need a reading or you need work or you need anything else. Um, I always direct people to my website where they can make the choice if I'm the right um, person for them, and then book a section. session. Oh my goodness. Okay. Next. Uh, I don't know what else. This show airs on WSCS, Rude Rangers TV, all of their streaming channels, podcasts, and radio stations. So when asking a question or connecting to loved ones, please keep that in mind. Okay. Hey, Stevie, hope you're having an amazing day today. Um, oh, my goodness. And I hope that um, all is going well. Um, I'm going to go straight to songs because those I have written down can actually focus on. So I did a show Saturday night. And I did a bunch of songs on that show. But just in case you weren't there for Saturday night show or couldn't get it. These are the songs that have been coming through. I'm going to let you know that the songs are, they can be someone who, this this is their message to you. Um, the song can answer a question. It can be a message from somebody on the other side because this was their favorite song. They know it's your favorite song or whatever way. If the song makes sense to you, then it's your song, okay? And the first song coming through, actually not even written down, is Hot Stepper. Here come the hot stepper word. I don't even know all the words to that, but I know when you say that statement, everybody knows it, and um, and then there you are. So whomever that's for, that one just came in, but now I'm going to go to the ones I have written down. Um. That song, uh, can a player just get a touch? <laughs> okay, so that was the first one. Um, and then the next song was, I don't want to be a player no more. I'm not a player, I just crush a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay, this one was, even after Saturday Night Show, just played all weekend for me. So obviously the person who this was meant for did not get it. And it's, you got me stumbling, you got me tripping. And those are the only, that's the only verse I can hear from that song. And I don't even know if that's correct, but if you know, you know, that's your song. Um, And then that song, you can go your own way, go your own way. Okay, and then on the other side we have, um. I'll Stop the World and Melt With You was one of the songs. Now, these are this morning songs. Okay, let's get this party started. And I'm not going to sing any more than that. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> if that's your song, you got it. You know it's your song. Um, the next song. Mm -hmm. From the window to the wall till sweat dropped on these. You know, I can't even. I till sweat dropped down. I till sweat dripped down, dropped down, dripped down. 
Okay, that song. Um, and then that song, this is a, a little bit of an older song, but it's, um, I don't want to be all by myself. Okay, yeah, I couldn't do that worse if I tried. <laughs> if I tried, that could not have come out worse. And then the last song for right now, that's all the songs, last song, that song that goes, yo diggity, yo go. I don't, I can't. And I, some of these songs, I legitimately know some of these songs, but when I'm giving the song here, I only get that, amount, I only get the verse that's needed for the person. I want to bag it up, yo diggity. I want to bag it up. Okay, I can't sing rap either, which is so sad because rap is essentially talking to a beat. I cannot talk to a beat. And there's that. Okay. All right. Um, the names I was getting this morning. And again, this could be the person on the other side name. This could be your name. Um, either way, if if you know the name, you know the name. And if I say a name, it might be for more than one person. So please keep that in mind. The first name I'm hearing was getting this morning was Mitch or Mitchell. The second name is Michelle. The second, the third name is Mickey, which is weird because I used to have an aunt and we called her Mickey, but I don't think that was her name. I don't think so. But Mickey which could, of course, be a nickname for somebody. And then Natalie, Natalie. And then Brent and Benson are coming in. And I think Benson, if that's not an actual person's name or something they called somebody, it could be somebody's pet because I'm seeing a dog here. Okay, so now we're going to get started with the show. If you're calling in to ask a question, please remember to push one so that your hand can go up and I know that you want to ask a question. Um, I wanna thank everybody who's here on in the chat on YouTube. So we're gonna start with Heather. Hey, Heather, um, Sal, Caroline. Um, happy Chinese New Year. Yes, Sal, thank you for reminding me. Happy Chinese New Year to everybody. Uh, very, very, very true. Jenna Beave. Hey, um, Rebecca's here. And then I'm going to try to read this name. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, Miss. I'm just going to call her Misty. And I'm sorry, I can't read your name. Um, and then Anne. <clears throat> And Mo, hey Mo, welcome back to the show. Kativa, Ka, Kavita, I'm so dyslexic. Kavita and Nancy and Erin. Hey, Erin. Cheryl, hey Cheryl, how are you? How are Lexi and Nora? Oh my goodness, love seeing you on here. And then Mo again. So I'm going to be going back and forth between the chat and the the chat and the call log. So if I don't get your question right away, please don't be upset. Just hold on. I'll get to you. People in the chat have been waiting over 20 minutes, some of them. So I just want to make sure that, I mean, people on the call log have been waiting like over 20 minutes. So I want to make sure that I'm being fair to people in the time that they spent. I also want to say, do you have a bit of a sore throat today? No big deal. It'll go away quickly, hopefully. Um, but if you, if I'm like my voice isn't normal or whatever, just so you know, that's <clears throat> that's a bit of what's going on. Okay, and no, it's it's just flu season. It's just it's that time of the year when people get sick. Not a big deal. I do want to say though, I really want to say. Um, there are some things that are going to be coming out in the news. It's all orchestrated. If you watch mainstream news, a lot of that is orchestrated. Pay it no mind. Pay it no mind. Pay it no mind. Okay. I'm going to go to the first caller who has been waiting patiently. This is 514. 
514, what's your name and where are you calling from? Well, I am calling from Canada. Hello, Tony. Genevieve. Hey, Genevieve. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. It's always great to be seeing you and speaking with you. You're so beautiful and full of energy, as I say, but you're the best. I miss you. Whenever you have no show, I miss you the next day, and I'm like, oh, I wish you would be back on. <laughs> to me, you could be back there every day of the week. It would be tremendous. Oh it would be goodness. just awesome to have you there. Thank you so much, Genevieve. That's so kind of you. You know, I did um, a show Saturday night, and it kicked my butt. Like, I did two hours, and um, at some of the callers were new, and I kind of... I, I always try to be really kind to people. And I don't know, maybe it was because I was getting this sore throat or whatever, but somebody called in, they said something and I was like, no, no. And I just thought to myself, turn it around, Tony, turn it around. But I, I literally, I never, I was like, I was not, oh gosh, I need to, I probably should delete that show because I just was not as kind as I should be to someone. Anyway, Genevieve, thank you for that. I wish I could do a show every day. No um, worries. I'll listen to your Saturday show. I'm oh. sorry I missed your Saturday show, but I'll listen for it. But, um, sometimes we have to be direct. I did the same thing this morning to someone. So I think sometimes we just got to lay out how we are and how things are. That's life. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes, yeah, sometimes. I don't know if this was warranted, but <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it was. It was what it was. So, we'll, yeah. so Genevieve, what's going on? How can I help you? Well, um, well, um, uh, as, as I, we spoke before, but uh, I'm still in my great uh, focus, excited possibilities of entering into my momentum of things moving forward. But I'm calling you because it's going to be my mom's uh, passing anniversary oh. tomorrow. It's going to be 31 years. So when I lost her, I was uh, 19, 20 years old. And um you know what? I'm not sad about it. Well, I'm, you know, of course I miss her. I'm not necessarily sad as in crying, but um, mm. I'm happy that she's here for, with me vibrationally. And I would like to know, because I know my dad always comes in, but I'd like my dad to step back. And I'd like <laughs> for my mom to take the front seat. I want to know what my mom wants to say. Okay. So what's your mom's first name, love? Okay, it's French, so it's Liz. Okay. But you can say Liz. It's basically Liz, but Liz in French. Okay, thank you. Now, there is an M name coming through, but I can't get the name completely. Um, but there is somebody with a M name coming through, but we're going to let that go, and we're going to go directly. Yeah, that could. I'm sorry, go ahead. That could be my grandmother. I'm, that could be my grandmother. Yeah. We used to call her. Uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I'm uh, sorry. You cut off. Okay. Um, and I do. I do think it is your grandmother because I do see an an on a grandma. Like I always try to an a more mature woman here. Um, and I I do know your mom is here. And um, the first thing that she is saying, I don't know if this makes sense to you, it should, um, spitting image. Um, now that can be in looks or behaviors or something, but the first thing she is saying is spitting image. And uh, this could be you or your daughters, somebody, something or someone is a spitting image of someone, obviously. And she's repeating it. And then the next thing she wants to um, <clears throat> to say is, uh, it, it's a. I know the statement, but then there's, okay, there's a song coming through too. So the statement is, you've come a long way. You've come such a long way. Um, don't uh, slow down. Don't slow down. And then the song that's coming through is, um, and I'm going to butcher the song. 
Um, it's been a long time since I've seen you, my friend. Something, something, something till I see you again. Um, so that's her song that's coming through to you. She wants you to know she's showing me something about a bedroom. Now, typically when I see an image of a room, I I will say if they're showing me the bedroom, that means um, to me, uh, one of the things that means, and, and to you, this might have a different meaning, Genevieve, but to me, one of the things that this always means is that they're with you when you sleep. They're like, they're, they're there as you fall asleep. They're there um, as you sleep and, and in your waking, they are there. And she wants you to know that, um, and she is showing me the bedroom and the lights out, like a, a dark, a darker, a dark bedroom. And she's letting me uh, to see this and um, saying, um, I'm like, I'm always with you. I'm, I'm in your heart. I'm in your soul. I'm in your head and I'm in your presence. And then the next thing that she would want to say to you is that she is having um, ep ep epiphanies and growth. And I do believe that even when we get to the other side, we still grow and we still learn. I do believe we're constantly evolving. We, we, we evolve always. And she is having epiphanies and she is growing but i think what i think genevieve is if you're still having okay 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 if you're still having difficulty sleeping i think she's bringing these um messages and knowings to you um during those hours and that might be why you are uh, having a difficult time sleeping, okay? So she wants you to know that. She just definitely, she wants okay. you to know that. She's there communicating with you in your in your bedtime, in the time, in your sleep time or your bedtime. And she also wants you to know that you're going to have um, uh, like light bulb moments coming in, a lot of light bulb moments coming in. Okay, love? I love that. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. And um, keep on rocking, my dear, Tony. Keep on rocking. And I like the uh, the song. I'll look it up. And also, uh, you're going to go your own way. I can't sing either. But uh, that sounded good to me. <laughs> uh, thank you. What's, which song was it? Go Your Own Way or which one? What? I'm sorry. Can you sing the song again, Genevieve? I think I lost Genevieve. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Genevieve. Okay, I'm going to go to um, 405. You are next. If you would like to call in and ask a question, the number is 845-277-9131. You can call in and ask a question or connect with a loved one. It's so much. If you're in the chat and you have questions and you want to ask them, it's so much easier. Um, more information can come out over the phone than it can if I'm just answering in the chat. Um, but it's okay if you're asking in the in the chat. Um, I'm going to back up the chat just a little bit to try to get some of the questions here and see what question I can get and try to be fair um, and answer the first and answer um answer the questions in the order that they came in. Uh, so Anne, Anne wants to know, um, my mom's B-Day was yesterday. I miss her. Any message from her? So Anne, this is for you. Um, the first thing I hear, and Anne, if this doesn't make sense, I, I apologize. But the first thing I hear is Carter, the word Carter, C-A-R-T-E-R. -E if that makes sense, um, and if anything I say makes sense, please um, chat back to me. Um, the next thing that I'm hearing is, um, 
Okay, the, uh, I don't know if this makes sense to you. I hope it does. And it, if it's something for the future, it might not make sense yet. It may make sense in, I'm hearing, a month. Um, and this, and it could be something your mom used to say, this next statement, the day will come, or to rue the day, I don't know, the day will come, or their day will come, something along those lines, <clears throat> excuse me, something along those lines, something about the day will come, rue the day, or their day will come, something like that. I don't know what that means. But I will tell you, Anne, the one thing she does want to tell you is, um, eat, <laughs> eat the cake. <laughs> Just eat the cake. Enjoy your life. Not the whole cake, but eat the cake. Just eat the cake. Enjoy your life. <laughs> oh. And then I hear that song, in the end, it doesn't even matter. Um, so eat the cake. <laughs> I hope that makes sense to you, Anne. I really do. Okay, I'm going to try to do everybody's questions on both sides. Um, if I <clears throat> If I accidentally skip your question or miss your question, please repost it. Um, I'm not doing it at all intentionally sometimes i just get lost in the conversations okay 405 405 what's your name where are you calling from this is michelle i'm calling from oklahoma hey michelle how can i help you today well, my sister Heather, who is a devout follower, told me to call in because she said that something about earlier in your show that the spirits may have a message for a Michelle. I don't know if that's me. Oh, Michelle! I, I, <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> I did at the beginning of the. I had to relook at my list of names that they called out at the beginning of the show and yes michelle is it was mitch mitchell and then michelle and mickey it was it was almost all <coughs> all m names today which i just thought was interesting okay so michelle um okay michelle i hope this makes sense to you you have a grandpa on the other side and your grandpa um I hope you have a grandpa on the other side. Um, I'm seeing a a, gen I do. a a gentleman with a bit of a belly, and um, I'm not saying he's a big old, you know, whatever. He he just had a bit of a belly um, at some point in his adulthood, and I see him um, with some. I'm not seeing his facial features. But I do see him with some sort of hat on. And then in this particular thing, I see him holding something in his hand. It could be like a, I don't know if this is a pitchfork or what. Anyway, it could be so, a gardening tool or a lawn tool or something. I see him standing holding that and like in bib, like these bib overalls. I don't, I don't know for sure. This might have been one time ever that this person wore this or on the regular I don't know. This is the vision I'm getting. However, what I'm going to say to you is, um, okay, Michelle, I'm going to ask you, he's showing me a younger boy, a younger boy. And this boy is about a, a toddler age boy. Um, if this makes sense to you, Uh, that's good. It might not make sense because I haven't said enough for it to make sense yet. I really haven't. Uh, unless you know, then you know. Now, this could mean a couple of different things. This could be your son when he was younger. It could be your son now, or it could be there's another child coming into your family. Doesn't mean you're going to pop a baby out. It could mean somebody else is going to pop a baby out. It's going to be a boy. If somebody's pregnant, they're about to have a boy. Um, this is definitely a little boy um, with brown hair, and he's wearing like tan pants and a like a pla uh, a plaid 
like a it's not plaid but plaid plaid shirt and that the colors are kind of brownish also um and it's long sleeve i don't know why i'm going into to such detail on this anywho okay. um, your grandpa is showing you this and i don't know why um i don't know if this is what's coming in or what does this does any of this make sense to you for the love of for the love of all that's good does it make sense to you well the grandpa yes and my daughter is pregnant but it is a girl okay um i'm i'm going to say congratulations first of all i'm going to say congratulations Thank you. <laughs> everything i'm seeing with this child and, now i'm going to i'm sorry I'm sorry, Grandpa was a farmer and he always wore hats and I have many of his hats whenever he did pass. So that's, okay. that's close, but keep going. Awesome, thank you for confirming that. I love that. Um, I do love that, thank you. And maybe the bib all, overalls and the, the gardening tool he was showing me was just to confirm, like to push home the gardening thing. Maybe the hat wouldn't have been, or the farming thing, I'm so sorry. Um, Maybe the hat wouldn't have been enough to confirm that. But this is like sometimes they show me things to push home the, the, the knowing of it. Like, I don't know if that makes sense. But here's what I'm going to say. If this is an image of your granddaughter, she's just in tan. She's a, as a toddler. I think it's a boy, though. I'm saying it's definitely a boy. It doesn't mean it's this particular child coming in. Um what I am going to say is if it's not this particular child that's coming in from your daughter, um, I believe it will be the next one. But there is, I feel like, and I I don't know, I don't know. I this they're showing me this little baby. I'm only seeing the baby from the back, and it is a toddler, barely walking. If toddlers walk. Maybe it's pre-toddler because it's in diapers and it's on the floor playing and whatever. Um, anyway, anyway, <laughs> let's 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 rein it back in. Anyway, this child is uh, if this is a little girl that they're showing me, um, they're just letting me know the baby's coming in, everything's gonna be okay. But I do feel like there is a boy. Maybe there is a boy coming in right on the heels of this. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, Michelle. I don't know. Well, <laughs> I just don't know. Well, I, I do have a son, and we're we're hoping he doesn't have a child anytime soon. But I mean, that is a very good possibility. So I'll have to I'll have to call him and um, check on that. But the funny thing is, this morning um, my my cousin did pass. And, you know, a long time ago, but I saw his um, a post on Facebook and it showed um, in a snow angel on his grave. Mm. And so maybe somehow it's tied into that because it, it was very upsetting to see. But I, Tony, I, I really appreciate you. And maybe this isn't meant for me. Maybe this was another Michelle, but just you taking the time. I, I really love you and I really appreciate you. You are so welcome. And I, I'm my pleasure. I want to thank everybody who has called in, who has asked a question on the chat. I want to thank you all for spending this time with me. I love each and every one of you so absolutely much. Um, I will be back Wednesday at noon. If I did not get to your question or your call, please call back then. I look forward to it. Thank you.